Hey there, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing, giving my honest opinion of some of Nivea's facial skincare products. Welcome, welcome back to Self Care Karen. It's lovely to have you here. In today's video, I'm going to be exploring some of Nivea's uh, facial skincare products. Now, you may have seen a fairly recent video of mine, uh, or you may not have done, of Nivea's in shower moisturizer. I'll put a link to this video here. And I make no secret of the fact that I adore Nivea's signature smell. It's a signature scent, maybe is a better way of putting it. So I'm, I'm all up for, you know, trying out Nivea stuff because I am, uh, you know, a fan, if you like. But I've never really um, delved too deeply into their facial skincare. Um, more, it's been more around body care. So I was really up for this and really kind of the catalyst for this video is the fact that I received two, by hook or by crook, I got two different skincare products from Nivea. I got a day cream, which is this one, and I have used this one before many moons ago. And also I got this one, which is from their Derma Skin Clear range. Um, I got this in a goodie bag from a show, a super drug show that I went to earlier on in the year. So I thought, you know, what I'll do is I'll construct a skincare routine and um, and I'll try it out for a month and then I'll come on here and I'll, I'll share my experience with you. So guess what? Here we are. It's been a little bit more than a month. I actually stopped using um, the products maybe about two weeks ago uh, and I switched to a different um, routine and there'll be an upcoming video for that one. But um, before my kind of memory phase of... Um, too much in terms of um, how I got on. I thought I would record this video now. And I will say I don't have any empties from this. I might actually use some of them up, maybe more on my body than on my face because there's the fact that I'm, I'm trying out a new range. But anyway, let's get to it. So I was searching for a cleanser because my kind of staple, and I think anyone's staple in their skincare routine is a cleanser. And for me, actually, it's one of my favorite skincare type products type of products um I do really like my cleansers and I was a little bit nervous I have to say going into this because my experience with Nivea has really been around their micellar water I'm definitely not a fan of their micellar water I tried I think it came up in an empty earlier this year because I got some in an advent calendar um so I was actually really pleased and pleasantly surprised that I found this two in one cleanser and toner. It's quite an in interesting type product for me. I don't normally use a toner. Um, it kind of I think that harks back to, to the day like the 80s, the early 90s when I was getting into having a skincare routine, um, which I, you know, I wouldn't say I've been, haven't had an established routine all my life, but I've certainly had an interest in skincare for as long as I can remember. Uh, and toner was like, you had to cleanse and then you had to tone. And actually, toning doesn't really feature in my skincare routines normally. But I do see now that there are more toners out available and they have, they're not, I've always thought of them as being really astringent, like a kind of a witch hazily kind of a thing. Um but they're not like that anymore so anyway so I digress this is a two-in-one cleanser and toner and um, it says with moisturizing vitamin E deeply cleanses and tones and you are supposed to apply this to your skin and I've got some footage here of me um, using this to remove makeup um, and um, then you are supposed to remove with cotton wool or water but actually what I do and what I tend to do with the majority of the cleansers that I use, unless there's something kind of really prescriptive that I need to follow, I get a, a flannel, I put some warm water on it, I squeeze it out, and then I use that to remove the makeup. And I find that really does work best for my skin. It kind of gently exfoliates as well, but it's great at getting kind of all of the makeup off. I go in again and again until I feel like I've really got everything off. And um, I have to say, this is not the best cleanser I've ever used. It's kind of a little bit too watery. Let me see if I can put some on here just to um, illustrate that fact. Um, it is kind of very um, thin in its consistency and I like something a little bit thicker. But you know what? It did the job. 
It does have a faint Nivea smell to it, but not completely wonderful as I want it to be. So yeah, I don't know. They, I think maybe they feel it's too strong for the facial skincare. But anyway, not my favorite cleanser, but not an epic fail by any means. The next step that I had in the skincare routine that I was doing in the mornings was uh, putting on this Q10 Energy Eye Cream. And I do actually like having an eye cream in my skincare routine. Some people argue that you don't need it, but I do feel that if for nothing else, it just reminds me that I need to pay attention to my delicate eye area. And the bit that really... I focus on in terms of when I'm applying my eye creams um, and again I, I've got some footage of me uh, putting this on is I've got like lines coming down vertical lines coming down here and I'm trying to avoid any more kind of uh, horizontal lines uh, crow's feet I think they're called around this area here you can see I, I, I've got makeup on it's kind of sitting in it it's not good makeup by the way this is the Maybelline 24 hour thing I'll link the video here where I review it but anyway yeah it's kind of settling in the lines a little bit which I don't like but anyway so I apply the cream this eye cream is fine I, I it's not it hasn't worked a miracle on my skin I wish it would it did not um but it's nice as I say to have that in um the routine so again nothing completely wowed here it didn't wow me but um neither was it an epic fail it didn't irritate the eye area which is kind of like the key thing that I'm looking out for with any kind of product going near the eyes okay so on a morning I would then, after applying the um, eye cream, I would then apply the soothing day cream. And as I said, I have tried this before. This is their Sensitive Skin One Perfume Free SPF 15 Grapeseed Oil. Really, really do not like <laughs> this cream at all. I find that it is just you have to apply it to absolutely bone dry skin. And if you're in any kind of situation where there's humidity, which in the UK, that happens quite a lot. Sorry, the sun's just gone in. I had lovely sunshine, it's gone in. Um, but also I had this away with me on holiday in Spain and I was just sweating buckets. This just does not, this is like a hot mess on your skin. Also, I like having SPF in my day creams. It just makes things a whole lot easier but 15 is not enough, right? So this is just not even for winter, I would say. I just, I, I would want a minimum of 30, 50 ideally, right? So yeah, not a fan. I Now I know why I haven't repurchased from buying it before. This, as I said, was, I think this was in an advent calendar, in the Nivea advent calendar that I got. And yeah, I'm just not, not wowed by this. Um, maybe it would work better on much drier skin and obviously in a very dry climate because what happens is with the humidity it just starts kind of pouring down it yeah it gets in the eyes it gets in the mouth it's just not not pleasant at all okay so this for me I did not enjoy okay then on an evening what I would do is I would start again with a cleanser and I would I would apply the eye cream, but a bit kind of later on in the routine. I had two um, products for the, uh, specifically, or well, two serums, I would say. The first one is this Derma Skin Clear um, Chemical Exfoliator, which has got salicylic and glycolic acid and niacinamide in it. Um, all of those ingredients I really like, and they're very helpful um, to kind of chemically exfoliate your skin um this i think this product is actually designed for um people that have got blemished skin and fortunately i i do get blemishes but they're not very frequent uh, it's every once in a while um yeah so it's for blemish prone skin and what it says on the instruction was is that it um or on the box it clears your skin complexion in just seven days uh, and it says, apply to a cleanse face in the evening and leave overnight. Um, so what I was doing with this was, because I was very nervous about just applying it and not uh, having a moisturiser on top, because um, I kind of really need to wear a night cream. I need that 
moisturizing um experience during the night so what i would do is i would kind of phase my evening skincare routine so i would cleanse my skin and then i would apply this to a dry face i did this like every two to three days it wasn't every day i think if you were having very blemished skin then perhaps you could do it more frequently but I didn't want to uh, equally I didn't want to kind of dry out my skin so I would apply this and it's like a serum let me I've got footage of me putting on um it's kind of like yeah serum gel um and I would um leave it on maybe for like an hour and then before I was about to go to bed I would then finish off the evening skincare routine and I actually did don't like the smell really don't like the smell it's kind of very sharp kind of a little bit kind of vinegary um but i do find that it was a a really good exfoliator and i like the fact actually that it was overnight it wasn't something i had to worry about during the day okay so that that was good and then i would follow it up so after about an hour i would follow it up if i remember it's okay because i mean you know this is the i mean i'm explaining the ideal um but sometimes it didn't work out that way i got this q10 anti-wrinkle uh power beauty sleep ultra recovery night serum and it says on the box um that it's got a relaxing sweet night fragrance um again i've got footage of me trying it on it's a bit like it's the same similar consistency to the the uh exfoliate the chemical um exfoliant i mean yeah it does smell sweet I'm not absolutely a massive fan of this. I would prefer, if it was going to be a, a relaxing smell for the night, I'd prefer something a bit more lavender heavy. Or to be honest with you, I would have just preferred the signature Nivea scent because I find that extremely relaxing. I it's joyful for me. I like it. But anyway, this goes in. It's It does feel like it is packing a punch in terms of moisture. Um, however, this deep wrinkle reduction, firmer skin overnight thing, did not did not get that what i did get when i um combined this serum with the actual night cream that i bought this is the this is the box okay this is the 24 hour moisture and regeneration natural almond oil dry and sensitive skin night cream i felt like in the morning my face was kind of a little bit um tight i don't know but not in a good way like okay yeah i want to tighten the wrinkles for sure i want to tighten this double chin up and stuff but it it was more like this the um the creams had remained on the surface of my skin and had not really penetrated and that i do not get when i have a really good night cream so for example i know i go on about this ad nauseum but i really do like the marks and spencer formula one i'll put a picture up or my lovely video editor will put a picture up just to remind us of that uh ultimate sleep cream or something like that love it this i i am not i did not fall in love with slightly more nivea scent but not strong enough for me i think they they must have modified it for their facial skincare as i said maybe they felt it was too overpowering but it is white very white like the like the signature cream from nivea but yeah it feels like there's kind of like a residue left on the skin and it's not as nice to apply as other night creams because it takes a while kind of to move it around the face so overall I did not have this kind of magical result where my wrinkles disappeared. I enjoyed using the skincare routine. I think, you know, I was, as I said, surprised by the cleanser toner. And I really did like this um, product, which were, were the, the chem chemical exfoliator. Um, but the rest, I can really leave them. They're not something that I'm going to actively repurchase or even give the prize of holy grail that is very um sacred to me and only gets awarded um as you can see quite infrequently on my channel and in my beauty reviews so yeah i don't know have you used this range at all um nivea have got lots and lots and lots of different skincare products for the face um i've just chosen a selection um I did look very, very um, at detail at the ingredients because I didn't want to use any that had any nasty 
silicones in them so none of these unless I've missed the small print have which is great um, and also I would say to you that they're all kind of I didn't go for the higher range they do have quite expensive products now in their range these were all kind of middle of the road so I think I even benefited from some offers so nothing more than 14 pounds um, and as I said I got a couple that were free one in an advent and one in a goodie bag but yeah, let me know if you've tried out any of Nivea skincare for the face and if you have any firm favourites, I'm happy, happy to revisit this brand because as you know, from a body care perspective, I definitely, definitely rate it. So in the video description, you will be able to find out more things about um, Self Care Karen, which is all about empowering busy women to feel their best and give their best. Um, I don't only do beauty product reviews, I also do guided meditations, and I also um, do tapping sequences, uh, EFT, emotional freedom technique sequences. And I'm currently exploring, so excited to be exploring Reiki. So yeah, if you want to know more about me, about my brand, just take a look at the video description. I have a mailing list as well, so you can keep up to date with all that's going on in self-care, Karen. Really, thank you so much for being here. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you, thank you so much. And please hit the like button and leave a comment, even if it's just to say yes, because that sends a really, really strong message out to the algorithm and my video will be served up to more people looking at beauty product review videos. And that will be really, really helpful for my little small channel. Remember, you are in perfect, time. See you soon.